Good day, good day everyone and once again we are back together. Alright, so this time we are looking at electric circuits, right? Let's get right into it. So they say to us we've got three resistors and an electric device rated 16 watts. They are connected to a battery with an EMF of 36 volts and an unknown internal resistance R. As shown in the circuit diagram below, emitter A2 reads 2 amperes, right? There's A2, we'll talk about it just now. Then they say when switch S is closed, right? So uh, they say define the term EMF of the battery in words. Guys, please make sure that you know your definitions. This is the total uh, energy per unit charge uh, within the battery, okay? Right, so in this case, uh, 8.2.1, they say calculate the resistance of the electrical device. All right, now firstly, let's first analyze what's happening in the circuit. Okay, I always like doing that before I can, um, you know, dive in. Right, so we know that total current will go out of the battery, right? Uh, into the internal resistance, we get to this node, right? The current will divide, okay? So some of the current will go through the 10 ohm device or, or rather the 10 ohm resistor, right? And in this case, some of the current will go through uh, the emitter, all right? So I know it will go through the emitter. So now the current that passes there, they told us this is two amperes. It will also pass through the 8 ohm resistor, but it will also pass through that device. Okay, so now we also know the current that is passing through the 8 ohm device, right? Uh, rather, the, the device. We don't know what the resistance of the device is. Okay, so we know the current that's, that is passing there. Right, now, I want you to note once we get to that node again, uh, what happens? So both those currents uh, come together, right? And in this case, we've got the total current uh, going through the 2 ohm resistor uh, as well as uh, A1, okay? And back to the battery, all right? So I hope that makes sense. So which means in this case, when I look at the 10 ohm device and uh, the 8 ohm and the, you know, the, the 10 ohm resistor, rather, I keep saying device, right? The, the 10 ohm resistor, as well as the 8 ohm and the device, all of those are in parallel with one another, right? So they wanted us to find the resistance of the electrical device. So we know the power rating of this device, but we also know that 2 amperes passes through it, right? So I'm going to use my power formula right we know that power okay that's 8.2.1 okay so that's power is i squared times r right so we know that uh, the power rating is 16 watts okay so that's 16 watts and the current passing through it is 2 so that's 2 squared and multiplied by r Okay, so we're going to actually divide uh, by 2 squared. 2 squared is 4, all right? And divide by 4 in this case. So R would also be equal to 4 ohms. Okay, so that means that the rating, uh, the, uh, the, the device is actually 2 ohms. Right, so 8.2.2, they want the current passing through the battery okay so what are we looking for for the total current okay so now now that we know uh, and please i want you to to note ladies and gents we were given the emf of the battery right and we don't have um you know the uh, the internal resistance so we can't use emf in this case right however we do know that the device okay uh, there's two ohms, uh, two amperes rather of current passing through there, but that means also two amperes is passing through the eight ohm, so we can find the voltage, right? 
uh, across these two, all right? And we know we can find the voltage across these two. And we know the voltage across these two because uh, the two uh, uh, resistors are in parallel with the 10 ohm. So we can find out the voltage there, right? And it will give us the voltage across the 10 ohm resistor, right? I hope that makes sense, right? So I am going to say, right, I know that resistors in series or rather in parallel, voltage is the same. So I know both my device as well as the 2 ohm resistor. So we've got those two being in parallel to that 10 ohm resistor. Okay, so it's the 8 ohm resistor together with the device, which is 4 ohms, right? So they give us a resistance of 8 plus 4, which is 12 ohms together, right? But we also have the 10 ohm resistor, which is in uh, parallel to those two. Now, please remember, ladies and gents, uh, some of us make the mistake to say that it's the 8 ohm resistor that's in parallel to the 10. That's not true uh, because, remember, we still have this device in this case that we found to be uh, uh, 4 ohms in this, uh, in, in, in this regard, right? So we know those two are in series with each other and the combination of the two is in parallel to the 10 ohms, okay? Please keep that in mind. So what I'm going to do is let's find the voltage right, across the 12 ohm resistor, right, meaning the combination of the device and the 8 ohm, right, so I'm going to uh, say this is V parallel, okay, right, so V parallel, okay, let's answer there, V parallel uh, will be the current times, in this case, the, uh, uh, you know, the combination of those resistors, right, so that's going to be 2 multiplied by 12, and that gives us 24 volts, right? So 24 volts is the voltage across our parallel resistors. So we can actually now find, right? We know that resistors is in parallel. Uh, a, a voltage is the same. So we can find the current that's passing through the 10 ohm resistor. So we can say, right, so current, let's call it I1. Okay, let's say current I1 would be V parallel divided by the other resistor. So this is going to be 24 divided by 10. And this gives us 2.4 uh, amperes, right? So that's 2.4 amperes. So remember the current through the 10 ohm resistor. So let's call this I1 and the current through that series combination uh, was given to us as 2 amperes, right? So we've got I1 here, which is 2.4, and let's call this I2, okay? So that the combination of the, of the two will give us the total current. So we can say, well, we know I total will be I1 plus I2, and so it will be that 2 amperes, um, we said I1 is the 2.4 plus I2, which is 2. And that will be 4.4 amperes of current that are passing through the battery. All right, I hope that makes sense, ladies and gents. Right, so uh, we found out the total current now. Now they say to us... Um, find out what is the internal resistance of the battery, okay? So keep in mind, we didn't know uh, what, we know the EMF, but we don't know the internal resistance of the battery. Now, what else would we need? Now, remember, we can use this, um, uh, so that's 8.2.3, okay? We can use the formula E is equals to I R plus small r. Now, remember, what are we looking for? We're looking for the internal resistance, right? We've got the EMF. We've got the total current now, right? But we don't have the external resistance, right? The value of the external resistance. So we need to find 
the external resistance in our circuit. So let's do that first, right? So remember, we said these two are in parallel, right? The 10 ohm resistor, as well as the combination of the two, the device, as well as the 8 ohm, right? Gave us 12 ohms, right? So let's find out what R parallel is. So R parallel would be equal to, let's say R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2. So this would be 12 times 10 divided by 12 plus 10. Okay, right. So let's look for that. So that's 12 times 10. Okay, divided by uh, 12 plus 10. Right, so that gives us around uh, 5.45. Um, right, so, um, so that's uh, 120 divided by 22, right? Okay, I just want to make sure. Um, so that's 120 divided by 22 ohms. Yes. Okay. Right. So now, no, that's 5.45. Sorry about that. So that's 5.45 ohms. Right. So that's our R parallel, right? But now those two resistors in parallel, if we combine them and make them into one resistor, okay, that one resistor is now in series to um, the 2 ohm resistor that we still have over there, right? So it means that if we want to get our external, so it will be this 5.45, uh, okay, plus this 2. So which means our external will actually give us 5.45 plus the 2, which is 7.45 ohms right so now we can find out what our internal resistance is so that's e i into r plus small r um our e value was uh that's uh that's 36 right so we know this is going to be 36 this is 4.4 uh, R is 7.45 plus the internal resistance, right? Okay, so we're going to divide both sides by 4.4. Okay, um, and subtract the 7.45. Okay, so we're going to say 36 divided by 4.4. Okay, and we're going to subtract that 7.45 okay so i get an internal resistance of 0 0.73 ohms all right and this is how we'll get our internal resistance all right okay so there it is over there okay we've got in our our internal resistance all right now uh, for the next one they say to us, um, the switch S is now open. Now, guys, I want you to know, the moment we open that switch, right? So the moment we open that switch, what's going to happen? Um, there's no current that is going to, uh, to flow through this, uh, these devices, right? There's no current that will flow through the 8 ohm as well as that device there, right? So which means essentially you are left with two resistors in the circuit, right? So what's going to happen? It's going to be uh, the total current will pass through the 10 and it will now pass through the 2 ohm resistor, right? So which means your total resistance now will be 12 ohms, right? Okay, so they say to us, um, how how will the reading uh, on emitter A1, okay? So which means the total current, okay? 
how will it be uh, affected okay so they say choose increase decrease or remain the same all right so what would have happened in this case it means that your total resistance remember your your r external was 7.45 but now it would actually be at uh, 12 ohms isn't it right so uh in this case it means r external has uh, increased and so what will happen to your current your current will decrease so to answer that question we say well it will decrease okay and they said we should explain right so when we open the switch okay we know that R external will increase, okay? And according to uh, Ohm's law, I is equal to V over R, and increase in resistance will decrease the current. So I'm not going to write all of that uh, in this case, but um, you're more than welcome to use the formula as well, right? So an increase in resistance will also decrease the current all right so as a result that is why that value will decrease over there all right i hope that makes sense ladies and gents from me for now i will see you guys on the next one shop shop